Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Happy Sabbath. My name is Elisha Oinonyarange and I'm going to sing a song called Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm one. Twas born, but now I see. Twas grace. Good morning, church. My name is Mashi Samara, and I will tell the children's story. It is entitled, Strong Outside, Weak Inside. It is about a man named Samson. The story of Samson is found in the book of Judges. Before we begin, let us pray. Oh God, please Thank you for this day. Please protect us. Please help us learn something from your word. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, have you ever done something wrong? I'm sure you felt terrible. That is probably how Samson felt. Over and over he ignored God's plan, but God did not give up on Samson. Samson grew up hearing his mother telling him about God's special plan for his life. She often spoke of the angel that had spoken to her and Samson's father before he was born. The angel said that Samson's hair should not be cut. He was to become a Nazarite, set apart to serve God. God had promised, as long as you do not cut Samson's hair, I will give him strength. God wanted Samson to use his strength to lead Israel against the Philistines. But Samson did not follow all of God's instructions. Samson wanted his own way. He wanted to follow his own wishes, not God's. Even though Samson went on to disobey God and do what he wanted, God still worked with him to bring down the Philistines. One day Samson went to the Philistine city of Gaza to see a woman there. Then he was trapped in her house. It was midnight. Some men were whispering outside the house. The house is surrounded, they said. We'll kill him at dawn. Samson managed to escape. Even though Samson had abandoned God, God was still with him. Samson ran to the city gates, but they were locked. 
Then Samson grabbed the huge wooden doors, lifted them right out of the ground, and walked away. The Philistines were amazed. Not long after his escape from Gaza, Samson went to see a Philistine woman named Delilah. When the Philistine leaders found out about this, they went to see Delilah. We'll give you lots of money if you find out the secret of Samson's strength, they promised. Three times Delilah begged Samson to tell her the secret of his strength. Three times he told her a lie. Three times Delilah tied Samson and called to him, The Philistines are attacking you. Three times Samson escaped easily. You don't love me, Delilah finally told Samson. If you really loved me, you tell me the secret of your strength. Every day Delilah begged Samson to tell her the secret of his strength. Over and over she begged him until Samson got tired of hearing her ask. Samson finally told her the secret of his strength. If my head were shaved, I would be weak, he said. That night, Delilah had Samson's hair cut. Then she screamed, Samson, the Philistines are attacking you. This time, Samson's strength had left him. More important, God had left him too. The Philistines captured Samson and put out his eyes. Then they took him back to Gaza through the very gates he had once carried. Thousands of people came to see Samson, who was now weak and blind and helpless. The Philistines put Samson to work in the prison. Gradually, his hair began to grow back. The Philist got Samson knew he had done wrong. He told God that he was sorry and asked God to forgive him. Not long after that, the Philistines threw a party to the idol Dagon. They were celebrating Samson's capture. During the celebration, Samson was led from his prison cell. There in the temple, men teased Samson and humiliated him. Finally, Samson asked to rest. A servant led him to the pillars in the middle of the temple. There, Samson prayed, O oh God, please strengthen me one more time. Then Samson pushed against two main pillars in the middle of the temple. God gave him strength again. The pillars collapsed and the temple fell. Samson was killed along with thousands of Philistines. God had given Samson enormous physical strength, but Samson disobeyed God. He was strong, but on the inside, Samson was weak. Let's ask God to strengthen us inside and outside so we can resist temptation and always do what is right. Amen? Amen. My memory verse comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 51, verse 10. It says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Amen. Happy Sabbath. My name is Harold, and I'm going to sing a song about the Good Samaritan. It's called I Won't Walk Out. 